so we're here, we're doing a kindergarten experiment here. And our question is, is one type of material more sinkable than another type of material? And so tell me, these are our two boats and this is gonna represent our what? Lake. Lake, okay, so those boats are made out of two different materials, right? Yeah. What material is this boat made out of? Plastic. And then what material is this boat made out of? Styrofoam. Styrofoam, and we're wondering, um, which boat is going to sink first, right? I think this one is. Which one? The plastic one? Yeah. So if you think that that's going to sink first, then you think that's the most sinkable boat? Yep. So we got to make a hypothesis and let's put it, you said the plastic's going to sink first, right? Mm -hmm. So this says, if I set a plastic boat and a styrofoam boat in water and fill them with pennies, the, you said the plastic boat will sink first? Yeah. That's your hypothesis? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna write that in. So go ahead and set both carefully. Set them right on top of the water in the lake. Oh, oh what do you notice? <laughs> both of them are not sinking. They're not sinking. So, here's how we're gonna do this experiment. You see all those pennies that you sorted out over here? Mm-hmm. We're gonna count how many, how many pennies it takes to sink the boats. So you got to put the pennies in carefully, okay? Um, so, on that one? Um, well, we can do one at a time if you want, or we can put a penny in one and a penny okay, in the other. Okay, okay, soft. Yeah, soft. So did you want to, yeah? So they can both hold one penny. Wait, I think I a lot. Two. You count, okay? Three. Three, three, three. No, that's three, three. Four. Three, four. Four, because they both have four, right? Five. Five. Six. Six. Keep going. Eight. No, but seven, seven, right? They both seven, have seven, seven. right? Who? What's happening? It looks like it's starting to sink. Ten and what do you need to? Ten. Okay. How did the fence fall in there? Then it's. What do you think? It's gonna sink. It's gonna sink. Oh, so, so both of them right now have how many pennies? I don't know. What did you count up to as you were putting them in there? Ten. Ten. So right now they both have ten and they're both floating. But we noticed. What are you noticing as you're looking at it? It, lo it looks like it's sinking. Like some, they're kind of look like one side is kind of going down. Like on both of them, right? Yeah. All right. So. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. It's almost there. You're 14? good. Fourteen. Okay. Fifteen. Oh! All right. Okay, hold on. Let me write this down. This is some data. Um, so the plastic boat. We. I write. Hold on. The plastic boat took fifteen pennies to sink. Right? Did you put fifteen in the styrofoam yet, or is it still at fourteen? Okay, so let's see how much for the styrofoam. Gets, so you're at 14. Put another penny in the styrofoam. Now you're at 15. Count. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. Oh! How many pennies for the styrofoam boat? Styrofoam. Okay, so both of us were not right. No, we were, let's go back and check our hypothesis. So which one Luz did? What do you think? This one. Why? 
Because it did it first. It did it first? It sunk first? How many pennies did it take to sink the plastic boat? Fifteen. And how many pennies did it take to sink the styrofoam boat? Twenty. Twenty. So which material floats better? Plastic or styrofoam? Um, which one floats better? Styrofoam. Styrofoam. And which one sinks first? That one. What material is that? Plastic. Plastic. And um, hey, look, I made an ultra rerun. This one will never. You think that one will never sink? Uh huh. Okay, you go ahead and try that one out while I get our graph set up, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, why don't you? So we have the styrofoam. Head okay, 20. Do, 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 do. How much is that? 15. No, that's just five. Don't help out. I would put two cannons 15. No, because this was 20, right? Oh, yes, I just okay, got done doing our team numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you make that? If you already have five, how much more do you need to make 15? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What that? So what is this? You to put ten and then one more? Is that fifteen? No, 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 no. Is this ten? Hold up. Slow your roll. Is this 10? Uh, yeah. Okay, so 10, and then how much more are you putting on there? How much is this? Five. And you're gonna put that together? And what does 10 and five make? 15. Okay, so now let's look at our graph. Put the plastic boat back up there. Okay, so the styrofoam boat, if I look at my graph here, held how many pennies? 15 and 20. The styrofoam boat held how many pennies? 20. And the plastic boat held how five. many? Five. But why it says? Not five. 15. 15 um, pennies. I don't know what held means. Like I could put it in there before it sunk. So that's how strong it was, that it could hold 20 pennies and 15 pennies, okay? Okay. So let's think about if the styrofoam boat held 20 and the plastic boat held 15, then what can I tell about these boats? Right, Think so about we that. did the sinking of the boat experiment. Can yes. you talk, can you share your data with us please? Okay, so. The data is right here. This is the information uh, that we got from the experiment. So the data, the title of your graph says number of pennies needed to sink uh, that's a. That's got hooked up. Right, number of pennies needed to sink a what? Uh huh. Your data, this title says number of pennies needed to sink a Bo boat. boat, right? And so we graphed that styrofoam needed how many pennies? 20. And what else? Plastic needed how many? 15. 15. And so we noticed that styrofoam needed, what was this math word? More. And plastic needed? Fewer. Fewer. And so we notice that inside of 20, there's a 15, right? Mm-hmm. And then, how many more did I need to go from 15 up to 20? 20. Here's the more part, right? So here's 15, and then how much more? 20. Is this part 20? I have five. So 15 and five more got me up to 20, right? Yep. And so then you wrote your conclusion sentences. Can you read me those sentences for me in your conclusion? Conclusion. The Zarfone boat floats better, period. It held five more pennies. Super job, scientist. High five. Hey, um. All right.